Michael Babb is 23 years of age. Well, some of these, uh, this record is a little bit deceiving. They just announced that he was Michael Babb Allen was 15 and 0. I'm, I'm not. Both of these, both of these guys are champions, by the way. They they just announced it. Well, I think what the problem is is. We are getting information from many sources, unfortunately. It's not meant to be an apology, but I think we should explain mm -hmm. what some of these problems are. Well, this is considered uh, one of the featured events for the evening. Yes, right here. it is. So this ought to be a good one. Uh, Convonioi. Convonioi. That's what he said to me prior to uh, the festivities tonight. Okay, let's go. They're ready. Paris, they just size each other up. has won 36 bouts, so he he should have the advantage. Michael came up with a started with a real sharp kick, right kick, right to the midsection. Let's see what he's got in his arsenal. They're just checking each other's distance here, sizing each other up. Nothing much happening at this point. No, there we go. No. Oh. Someone took a shot. Someone took a shot. Looked oh. like it was to the midst to the to the groin. Let's see how he retaliates from this. He might be weakened or he might become angry. Yes, may open up. seems to have a real good boxing stance. If you notice that, he can shift and swing. He seems like a tough customer out there. Absolutely. He sits, sits up on his punches and goes right back to doing the kick. As I say Bula is only 18 years old. I would have to say He's Paul, a comparative both, youngster. Both these guys have a lot of respect for each other. You can see it. Oh, I'm sure of that. I don't think either one of them is going to take any chances. They've probably been told that the other guy has a punch that'll do it. Because I don't see them getting too close to each other. Right now, they're just trying to find their range. I'll tell you, Paul, with the accuracy of these guys, I, if anything, whoever has got the ability to counter punch would definitely have the edge in a bout like this. Well, at this point, uh, as, as early as it is in this round, we'll see that Michael Babb would have that advantage. These, both these guys are capable of opening up with a two, two and three punch combination along with another a double punch combination from the feet. Not as much clinching as we saw in the, in the earlier bout. Absolutely right. There's more, more the use of legs more in this bout thus more far. More the, the distance that they're keeping, getting in there and getting back out. If you notice right there, there's a good sweet kick. Well, the experience is showing. You mm -hmm. can tell. Both punches able to be effective with, with all arsenals, both legs and feet. Still that respect. There's a good six feet between them. Good style, hands held high. Now they're clinching. And there's the use of that knee with a good counter punch from Michael Kapp. Right at the bell, Mike, Michael came back with an overhand right and had it land. Here we go, let's take a look at some of this action. There's a good left kick that was, there's the counter that I was telling you about. Yes. That left kick and Michael countered with that sweep kick and just about brought him down. I think we're in for a very exciting second round. In fact, I could almost guarantee it. Seems they were applying some type of powder on Michael's soles in that far corner. If either one of these guys decide to cut loose, get ready for an old-fashioned Donny Brook. Look at this. Look at that combination. The one-two with the with the hands, and then he comes back with a kick. Well, they both came out to fight. There's no doubt about that. There's another great straight right kick. 
countered with a, with a left kick from... Now I see another clinching again here. And this, look at this, clinching and hanging on to the ropes. <laughs> Great kick to the head. Is not afraid to get in there. Great kicks. Look at that. The haymaker had that. Oh, that was a wild one. He better get out of that corner. I don't know how good he is. He's, he's, he's using that sweep kick very effectively, though, Michael is. There's a knee. It looked like that almost landed in the groin. And then Michael Bob is in the blue trunks. R.C. Bulai in the red. Michael's better off when he gets when he stays out of that corner. He seems to rely on that sweep kick as a counter. Look at this. I guess he likes it. He, fi he fights better in, in the corner. He's I would, a, he's I would suspect it would make him uh, less like, mobile in the corner. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's not customary to be to leave yourself in a corner like that. He, there's something that's something's happened. He may not get up. He's dazed. And I think he's hurt as well. That's it. I'm not certain as to whatever, why he even stood in the corner. It just proves that, uh, that old age adage. And there was plenty of distance to get out right there. Yes. There's a great left to the head. Well, he that might hurt. have done it he right there. He definitely was hurt. Not a left kick to the head. And so that means that, that uh, Bab has now lost three. And R.C. Bouye has won 30 seconds. seconds in round number two. The winner by way of knockout, Kung Van Noy O Siba Loy. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, have it a hand. He put up a very game try, Speedy Michael Bab. And Speedy he is. Very polished. I'm amazed that, uh, well, of course, he... Uh, Draw. And this will, uh, this should be interesting because you have two Thai fighters. They're going to fight each other under traditional Thai rules, which means they're going to let them go at it. There's going to be a lot more contact there should be a lot more uh, infighting and uh, stuff that a lot of American fans might call dirty fighting it's legal in Thailand and even though it is not sanctioned by the California Athletic Association it may be allowed tonight there was some talk of that but what a night we had Chuck Norris Dennis Alexio many the jet all the big names in the sport on hand here at the Celebrity Theater in Anaheim California Let's go down to Jimmy Lennon Jr. with our next fighters. All right, fans, here we go. A special treat coming your way this time. Five rounds of kickboxing. This is a cultural ex exhibition of Muay Thai kickboxing. Introducing to you on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, white trim. Hailing from Bangkok, Thailand, he is weighing in tonight 116 pounds. Yes, he is the Lumpini Stadium champion. Please welcome Long Swan Pan Yutapu. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, red trim. Ailing from Sanamuri, Thailand. His weight is 116 and one quarter pounds. He is the former Lumpini Stadium champion. Welcome, Anador Lutrava. Ready for round two. Music's picked up considerably. Kind of trying to get the fighters and the crowd into this one.
Hook Prabhan in the white hasn't done much damage at all. Panyutapum got in a few good kicks in that first round. Uh oh, he's trying to get that knee up there. Ow. <laughs> now, this is more traditional Thai style, tying up the hands and going inside with the knees. That's right. If you allow a lot of that knee contact, you have to be very trusting that your opponent abides by one rule that is uh, enforced even in Thailand. That's that right. One, that one spot you're not supposed to kick. That's one reason that the commissions around the world have not been very supportive of the Muay Thai system because of the accidental injuries. Oops, that was a little bit low. There's been about four hours of fighting here in, in Anaheim this evening, and the one thing that I have noticed is there's yet to be a, a knockout in any of the bouts of the evening. There really hasn't even been that much blood. Had what, what one bloody nose or two? Again, a lot of the infighting. There's a, a Thai referee understands what these two fighters are doing, allowing it. This, this is where these, the, the Muay Thai fighters are most comfortable, when they can lock up and just really do the interior damage. Did you ever fight this way? Not unless I had to. I never fought in the ring this way. Closing seconds of round number two. One thing I've noticed on these fighters, they're not kicking to the inside of the leg as much as I thought they would. I really thought that's where they would attack. Good kick landed by Ponya de Pong in the blue. He got that name down, Pat. That's the end of round two. Lang Swan Ponyutapum in the blue. Adnoi Lukpabart in the white trunks. This is where you're supposed to throw in some quips and old war this stories. Is, this is what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think I'm going to have to have these uh, headsets surgically removed after five hours of this. Uh, the thing that I've noticed. No, I know. What's, what's he saying there? I think he's ordering a pizza. I don't know what he's saying. By the hand gestures. It's like he's, he, he's, he is telling him to hurt him. <laughs> yeah, he's telling him to go underneath. It looks like maybe work an uppercut and come back with a left hook. And we should be very well advised because of the way the other fighters fight. This guy is like the Bobby Knight of uh, <laughs> kickboxing coaches. <laughs> Not altogether pleased with his uh, pupil there. And, and he's winning. The ties are very... When they give instruction, they're very militaristic. I mean, it's like there's no room for, there's no margin for who's in, in control. There's one person in control, and the fighter's there to listen. And a fight can actually be won or lost from the corner. And this is a tough one to call with all the infighting. I would think that this young man, Lung Swang Ponyuda Pum, had the advantage early. That is the legs of Adnoi Lukprabart. Is there anything you really can do to the shins with all that kicking during the fight to try to uh, not the shin so much, feeling? but to the to the calf and the hamstring and quadricep, you can try to rub out any cramps that come in or any clotting or bruising. How long after a fight does it take before your sh your shins uh, the pain goes away? Oh, sometimes it doesn't ever go away. It doesn't seem like. K.O. Baker, you handled quite a number of those uh, those fights in your day. You still fighting? 
No, I, I train fighters and uh, still work with fighters and coach young fighters that want to come up. But I'm really involved with kick now uh, from an advisory standpoint, and I work with them as a liaison. And it was... Uh, for those of you who just joined us, uh, KIC is the sanctioning body, Karate International Council of Kickboxing. It's really taken over the sport in the last several just, years. It really has. It's been a phenomenon because of the consistency and the professionalism that KIC offers. Where we've had so many organizations from sanctioning positions come and go and change leadership. And, and you have some fellows like Chuck Norris to, to back you up. Yeah, when you got a name like Chuck Norris and Bob Wall and Fred Wren, Frank Babcock, Larry Castro and the great Roy Kerbin, you know, it's just hard to be anything but successful. Those men are indicative of success in their lifestyles. Just to be associated with them is a great pleasure for me and honor. Round three, the five round event. Muay Thai kickboxing, different style from Thailand. And this is the only fight of the uh, of the card, of a seven round card that features two Thai fighters going against each other. So they decided ahead of time, the California Athletic Commission, that they would have a Thai referee and uh, more of a demonstration to the fans. Let, let them see what a true Thai fight is like, where the holding is not stopped. You can see them grabbing each other's legs and kicking underneath. I don't know if I like it more this way or not. I've heard how much tougher and stuff it is. It, it it's actually seems to slow the fight down. It does, and it allows the fighters somewhat to rest. Not a great deal. You got to keep your abs tight constantly. But that knee coming up, if you throw a knee and I throw a knee at the same time, and your knee is elevated a little more than mine, that really opens your groin up. Of course, that'll save you money for a vasectomy, but that's not the way you want to do it. Can't say anything after that. <laughs> left me speechless. 35 seconds left to go, or there you go, 35 seconds, round three. <laughs> I was ahead of the official clock. Leng Swan Panyutapum in the blue, Adnoi Luprabart in the white, both from Bangkok, Thailand. It's a long way from home for these young boys to be coming to fight. They have not Americanized. They do not speak a lick of English. Of course, we're in Los Angeles, and I Who couldn't does? find many people that did <laughs> speak much English today. <laughs> Final seconds of round three. Good, good. Well, we've seen three rounds of this, uh, this style, and quite frankly, doesn't have the people up and screaming or clapping their hands. No, but you got to remember, it's tough to fight, to follow a fight like the Peter Cunningham fight. Both those fighters were well conditioned. Here we go. Let's listen to Bobby Knight again. Uh, Woody Allen would put subtitles in the bottom. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, you know, he, he reminds me of the, the um, Meredith Burgess, Burgess Meredith, whatever his name was. Yeah, that Burgess played, Meredith. Yeah, that did the Rocky deal. He looks like a, a Thai version of that. Look at the way he's... All the hand gestures. Yeah, get on him, Rock. Get on him, Rock. <laughs> Let's take a look at some action from that third round. They're not showing terms of endearment for each other here. That takes a lot out of you, that grappling like that. I mean, it really burns you out quickly. Well, Tex Cobb made that popular, too, though. <laughs> but he did it in boxing as well as kickboxing. And, and half the bars of Dallas. I never saw a fighter that could take as much punishment as Tex Cobb in my entire life. Do you know that, that Tex can uh, really kick with a lot of height? He's very pretty flexible. I hadn't talked to Tex in a couple of years. The last time I saw him, he was kicking pretty fair. Jump spinning hook kicks, and he's a big man, 260 pounds. When he fought Larry Holmes, oh, he man. got the poop whipped out of him every round, and, the, and they turned to the referee Mills Lane afterwards and said, party starts in 45 minutes. <laughs> and that's the way he is constantly. Of course, that's what Howard Cosell, that very fight was the, the fight that turned Howard Cosell sour. Uh, Howard Cosell was turned sour at, at age one. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, here we go, round four. Leng Swan Pujutapum in the blue trucks. Adnoa Luk Prabart in the white. And here come the musicians again. And they're trying to pick up the pace as well. Listen to the different tempo here. Look at that front kick. 
good front kicks. Bruce, are these guys with their 119? Is that what their weight is? I believe so. Throwing but Uniform in the blue has the advantage in this fight. I mean, he's doing the most damage with the kicks. Yes, he's backed the fighter up. And uh, to throw that many kicks, really, you have to be in shape to do that, especially with the authority these guys are throwing. Ooh, he walked right into that one. You can see the pain <laughs> on Uniform's face there as he doubled up. Actually, a pretty good move by the referee. Oh, there. I do that. I'll give him a 9 3. I'm using the rope to hold him in the ring. Trying to get him break clean. Oh. <laughs> kind of a look provide snuck in a quick punch there. A lot of traditional respect among fighters. Ooh, that, was, that was a wicked blow low. Can we talk respect? It, it is the, the fighting is as much of a religion to these young men as uh, Sunday church services are to, to us over here. Absolutely. So it goes beyond respect because it touches a spiritual connotation of life. And a great deal of honor, Bruce. I mean, there's a lot of honor in the sport. Panutapum uh, starting to open up a little bit more. You can, you can hear the result of a lot of his kicks. He's in the blue. Good front kick. Panutapum's been using that kick very, very effectively, but he pushes with it a little too much instead of snapping it. While this hasn't had some of the flair of some of the earlier bouts, you can tell this is a lot more grueling, the style. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. it takes a lot of you just to watch this one. These, these young men are in shape. There's no doubt about it. Good left by Luke Probart. Doing a little more boxing here in round four. Final seconds of round four. the end of round four world Muay Thai championship kickboxing at the Celebrity Theater in Anaheim California Bruce you've, you've uh, done blow by blow and you've done color for boxing and and uh, you've done it on the Olympic level and how does this differ as far as for you for color and, and, and commentary and blow by blow there's always something happening. You cannot look away. I remember once I looked down to, to say, oh, I wanted to give credit to Telemedia Productions that a guy was laying down and I didn't see the punch. I had to wait for the replay. That's the difference. A boxer can, can go defensive for a little while, and, and he can catch his own win by, a, by running around, or, or if he's way ahead in the fight, he can dance away and, and, and try to turn on the defense. You really can't afford to do that here because you, you get to the position where the other guy gets a little... Momentum coming at you, and then it's all over. You have to stay on top of the fight. You have to press the fight. Okay, here's a close-up look at some action in the round just, just, just before this. You can see those knees just crashing into each other. Yeah, that's painful. That's more painful getting hit in the side. Look Probard in the light. These young men have no body fat. They are lean. So look at both fighters. That's Punyata Pum. Both of them standing in their corner before this fifth and final round. The one thing I don't understand is why they don't let their arms down. They should be letting those deltoids rest. But every fighter I've seen, they've held them up like that. And in Muay Thai, Kickboxing, you get two minutes between rounds instead of the traditional one, and that's a, that makes a big difference also. It does make a big difference. I mean, two minutes is just like starting over again for anybody who's in shape. Fifth and final round, Leng Swan Ponyutapum of Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand in the blue. Has the advantage, but it's still a very close fight with Adnoy Luke Probart. 
also at Bangkok in the white. And I would say the winner of this round, if he does it convincingly, should take this fight. Good front kick. His men have stayed busy the entire time. No letting up. Also on four and a half plus hours tonight at the uh, Celebrity Theater in Anaheim, I've yet to see a fighter with much of an injury at all. Well, no, no cuts. They're very well conditioned. Every fighter that's gotten in the ring tonight has been well conditioned, and that makes a big difference in your injury level. It's about a six-hour fight card, and the fans are really not going anywhere. Full house tonight. Beautiful new celebrity theater here in Anaheim. This is really a place to put on a show. I mean, this is perfect for any kind of ring event, boxing or kickboxing. The crowd seems a little reserved, though, uh, from what I expected them to be. Oh, like a fighter, a crowd needs to pick its moments to rest, too. That's They've been right. up and down for quite some time here. Now it's picking up a little bit. But the most stamina has got to go to those musicians. They hadn't let up yet. Last minute of the last round. Here, I'm picking up that tempo. Swan Panyutapung in the blue. I know I look pro Bart in the white, and I'm not even going to try to guess this one. I would think that Panyutapung in the blue had the early advantage, but I will have to wait to see what the judges I think. Can you think call this one? No. Um, Panyutapung may may have a one-point edge, but it just depends on how the judges see it, because that end fighting is a whole different way of scoring. Closing seconds of the fifth and final round. Neither fighter seems to be looking for that big punch. Content to continue. Final seconds, the way they've been fighting for five plus rounds. We'll have to wait and see here what Jimmy Lennon Jr. has after he picks up the cards from the officials. How do you score? It's got to be a lot harder to score a fight with so much uh, in kicking. Yeah, when, when you go to using the knees like that, um, because each one of those counts as a blow, just like you work a jab or maybe a straight right hand, and it's just uh, it's just how you see it as an individual. That's where it gets to be really a personal call, because there are a couple of the knees that I just wouldn't even count because there was no authority. They were more of a glancing blow. But the official across the ring may not have that viewpoint. 